Hi, this is Alex Shirley with Gabe and Rex Curtis. This is 99.9 The Red. Today we are going to be discussing the AFC East, okay? So who do we think is going to be the division leaders in the AFC East? I mean, I don't really think it's anything of a challenge for the Jets. I think the Jets take it easily. They have Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, a clear upgrade from Zach Wilson. I mean, did you even watch the Jets last year? That kid was atrocious. They got Sauce Gardner. They have so many defensive. They have so many defensive, you know, weapons that they can use now. Like their defense is outstanding. I think they'll finish top three in defensive rating this year. And they also have Alan Lazard to help out. They have this. They have so many weapons that can really just. Pro- they can propel them deeper into the playoffs. I couldn't have said it any better. Also, the Jets last year were 7-3 and three when they just scored 10 points. Aaron Rodgers and that offense is definitely going to average more than 10 points. And their defense just even got better. And, you know, the Bills, they got flaws on their O-line. The Patriots, their offense. We, we have to see what it uh, looks like with Bill O'Brien. And the Dolphins with Tua and then Ramsey. The Jets are gonna, probably going to win it. I can definitely see what you mean there. So now for a little bit more of a controversial take here. Where do we think Shohei is going after the 2023 season? Well, I think, in my opinion, I think Shohei Otani stays with the Angels. He's only been there a few years, and you know, coming in from Japan, a lot of a lot of p- people from Japan like to stay on the West Coast. You look at Ichiro. Ichiro stayed in Seattle for years after F3 first got there. A lot, like a lot of the a lot of those Japanese players stay tend to stay on the West Coast. And not, I'm not saying that he's get, that, that's his thing, but he seems happy in LA. You know, he, he's very productive here. He gets a lot of fan support. He's getting paid pretty darn well. And I think with that pairing with Mike Trout, if we could get maybe a swap in the owner or GM department, then I think that'll definitely help out with recruiting new free agents or trade, or trade targets. Mm-hmm. I think that Shoei loves uh, lost, um, Anaheim and he loves the fans, but I think that the New York Yankees are just going to make a big push because Aaron Boone, they see that this Yankees offense is terrible with hitting, and Shohei's literally the perfect guy for them. Um, Jim Carlos Sand's been terrible this year. Judge has been injured. I think if they get Shohei next year when they regroup and they're healthy, they're going to be back to where they should be. But I don't really disagree with that. Shohei should stay in Anaheim because, you know, it's a perfect fit right now. Oh, uh, it appears we have a caller. Uh, we're accepting line right now. Hey, uh, first time, long time. I'm curious. I, I do understand all the excitement about the Jets, but the Bills were 13 and three. What do you see them in terms of them falling enough so that the Jets have a chance to win the division? Well, I just don't think the Bills have improved at all. You know, you you saw their kind of collapse last season, and you know, Josh Allen. He's he's he always is going to get better. He's a he's a project player, but he and he's always getting better. You know, he was top five in MVP vote, votes last year. But I just don't see that Bills team with him at the helm and not a lot of weapons outside of Stephon Diggs. I don't see that team getting any better in this season, and I don't, I don't see them getting further in the playoffs than they did last year. Yeah, I just think that the Buffalo Bills were honestly made for the regular season and the postseason. They were kind of exposed last year. They should have lost to Miami with just Skylar Thompson. Their defense was terrible. They gave up 31 points. And... Ken Dorsey's a horrible offensive coordinator for them because Josh Allen was second, but were tied for first in interceptions with Dak Prescott. And they lost Cole Beasley, Jamison Crowder, which puts more pressure um, on Stephon Diggs to make plays, which we know he can, but it's just going to put more pressure. They're going to, uh, Diggs is going to get triple teamed and Josh Allen's going to have to force it to other players outside like Gabe Davis, but it's just too much to overcome. And I think that Buffalo's going to get exposed again this year. Absolutely. This has been 99.9 The Red. You can always call us at 999-999-T-H-E-R. Thank you very much for listening.